<laughs> Man, I wasn't even supposed to go. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I was supposed to help block for a blocker, and then it kind of just like we didn't get lined up correctly like early, and he blocked so hard down. I saw no guard, like no shield, and I was like, let's go, let's go make a play. And so that's what I did, and end up working out in our favor. So it's one of those take a risk moments, and it worked. What's the conversation on the sideline when? wasn't what you were supposed to do, but you came up with the play oh, anyway. They, ain't, they didn't even ask questions. They were just <laughs> – they. I, I mean, I might get I might get told about it tomorrow, but they didn't say anything on the sidelines. They didn't notice. So. What is that like when you see that opportunity, you get close, and maybe as you get close, you realize, oh, I might be able to get a hand on this thing. What is that like? Sure, it was it was low-key. It was low-key live. Like, especially for this game, just because I feel like personally it was one of, like, those more upbeat games, like where it was close for the whole game until, like, the fourth. And so – like it was, it was a surreal moment. And once I like saw it, I had the opportunity. I was like, dang, it would be nice to block it. But I mean, hey, it worked out. So how much confidence is this defense playing right now? I mean, 11 total points in two games here. Surreal. I mean, it's crazy. I feel like, I mean, and I feel like they shouldn't even have got like a touchdown. We had 45 yards of penalty on that drive. So I mean, we kind of walked them into that one. So I feel like we got a lot of things to clean up, but. Defense looking a lot better than last year, and I love it. I love to see it. I love to see how our defense is. And in offense, they just showed that we can strike at any moment. Like, we was playing conservative and then threw it right down the threw it right down the middle of the field. And so, I mean, I think there's a lot of confidence in this group, but that can also be a bad thing. We don't want to get overconfident and because we still got more tests down the road. And this is one game. We, we're 0-0 right now, so we got to go 1-0 again next week. How do you stay before, uh, before the season that you weren't you were pushing to be involved on the return game? Just what does it mean for you to still have an impact on special teams, even though you oh, went back on return? It's it's a great thing. Like it's especially if you're on special teams, it shows that the coaches have trust in you. Because if you wouldn't be out there if they didn't. So I mean, just to be out there as much as I can is I'm helping the team out, and that's what I want to do at the end of the day. So it's a great great feeling. How do you keep the defense grounded? You mentioned confidence but trying to stay hungry how do, you, how do you keep that up I think I think um we we always overemphasize like last year how um we like we went three and oh and then after like kind of went downhill so we got to know that I think it's a great group of guys though like we're we already know that it's like it's a new mindset like last week we knew like we we won against or um, Arkansas State but then Sunday, Monday, we was already flipped around. We was ready for SMU. Like, we had a new chip on our shoulder, and that's what I love. If we keep that every week, like, we, we can do big things.